Hey Deckers, something a bit different today. Destiny 2 on Steam OS via something called GeForce Now. I'll come into that in a bit more detail. And Destiny 2 on Windows 10 on Steam Deck as well. So, Steam OS browser versus Windows 10 native. Can you tell the difference between these two and which one is the browser streamed versus Windows native? Well, I can tell you the one on the left is actually the GeForce Now in the Edge browser on Steam OS, and the one on the right here is Windows 10 on Steam Deck. So why have I done this? Well, I just wanted to show some of the benefits of both running natively and also streaming for some of the games that you are not able to play on Steam OS. So Windows 10, you can see on the medium settings here, bouncing between 50 and 60 frames per second, but it does look really smooth and it does look absolutely phenomenal. Although it does dip into the 40s and 50s, even on these medium settings with all hell breaking loose, it is actually very smooth. GeForce Now is a little bit more washed out, mainly because of the browser. It's not officially supported on Steam OS at the moment, but it does work through the Edge and Chrome browsers just fine. But you will have to use just the standard controller configs and have to remap the controllers if that's what you want to use. If you're not familiar with GeForce Now, it's essentially a cloud PC. You can play your PC games on multiple devices and you don't have to worry about what the hardware spec is. As long as it's got a decent internet connection, it will work just fine. Now this is the RTX 3080 tier, and I'll link to the full GeForce Now description below. But basically, a lot of the benefits for this are you can use it on multiple devices, but it is a monthly cost. Now this is 3080 tier, but they do have the 1080 priority tier, which is much cheaper and also on special offer right now for just under £30 for six months. Now, if you do want to use the 3080 tier, then you can do that for £90 for six months, but will really depend on where you're going to use it. If you're just going to be using it on the Steam Deck, then you are going to be fine on the priority tier. You can try it out completely for free as it does have a free entry tier, but you may have to queue to get into a rig depending on the time of day. I do like playing on Windows 10. It is extremely smooth considering it is only the medium settings. It does look a bit clearer for me, but the pain of switching into Windows on Steam Deck is not an easy one and keeping it up to date and having to manage dual boot can be a bit of a pain. So if you don't want to go the Windows 10 route, but you still want to play some of the unsupported Steam OS games, then GeForce Now is a great intermediate tree, which will allow you to play those not only on Steam Deck, but you can also pick up your saves on phone, tablet, and PC, Mac, or Chromebook, all under the same subscription, without having to reinstall the game each time. So let us know in the comments below which one you think looks best here between GeForce Now on Steam OS and Windows 10 on Steam Deck. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.